So, hey everybody, this is Oz from First Updates Now, and we are with 8613 Parker Brabant. We are in Istanbul Regional, and they are from Sydney, Australia, and we're gonna be hearing about their robot, their agile chassis, it's bulletproof, a bullet chassis, and they're sharpshooter, and they're also climber. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you, and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. So, let's start with your chase, guys. Uh, yeah, so our chassis is filler, as you said. It measures 600 by 680 millimeters. Um, it's powered by four swerve modules. We have Talon, we have Falcon motors that uh, power the rotation, and Krakens that power the drive. Um, altogether, the whole robot weighs around 37 kilos, so it's pretty light. So that means it's very fast. So how did you machine it exactly? Um, so the, the billet is made in-house, so we have a three-axis CNC in our lab. Um, Altogether, the billet weighs just five kilos. Oh, very impressive. Are your modules custom or are your are they SDS? Uh, they're custom they're modules. Custom based on SDS. Okay, great. So, what about your like intake? Yes, yeah, so our intake we have a very large under the bumper intake. So the intake feeds through the front here. We've got a first roller here into the intake. We've got flex wheels and some hard wheels that basically just bring the notes up into the rest of the robot. Um, to accommodate the larger intake, we had to flip one of the crackers around so that that would mean for a wider intake. Um, this basically just helps us in auto so that there's a bit more, uh, yeah, so we can align better. Uh, once the note is intaken, it stops here. We have a sensor there, a line pinch sensor that just basically stops the note for it passes through our shooter. Oh, great. So, how did you decide on an under bumper intake? Um, we, want our, we want our robot to be as minimalistic as possible and as simple as possible. So with the open the bumper intakes, a lot of the time it can be unreliable or it's just faulty. And yeah. Okay, great. Once the notes are intaked, they then go into our shooter. Uh, the shooter is powered by two Falcons, one for the top and bottom roller. They can be powered independently, which allows us to add a small amount of spin onto the notes. Uh, we use uh, a variety of different drummer flex wheels, I think uh, 30, 45 and 60. Uh, which allow us to then further add some spin to the note, which allow it to stay stable when it's in the air. Uh, the shooter also pivots around a point on the intake, leak, which allows us to shoot from anywhere within the legal zone. And that's enabled by uh, gyroscopic and apple tag tracking, which automatically position the shooter to the correct angle. So does your shooting RPM change with the range you want to shoot? No, it remains consistent. So what about your like climber? Yep, so the, uh, the climber is a three stage. It's got a 65, 50 and 40 millimeter tube. They're all 1.6 millimeters thick, so there's no weight saving. Um, so there's these bearing blocks. These are all bearings in there that help it slide smoother. And then there's, on the bottom stage, there's four small contour springs that power it up. And then on the second stage is one. So, and then at the bottom there's one Falcon with a 64 stage um, reduction, 64 to one, which allows us to use brake mode, which stops it from like falling down after disabling. So this means that we don't need a locking mechanism and makes it a lot more consistent. Um, there's also, um, so the reason it's telescoping is that we want it to be slim so that we could um, climb to the side 
and allow for harmonizing, which we just used in our last match, which allows for the ranking point if we have another team that can climb with us. And also, the design of this and the placement and the balance of the robot makes it so that it's centered and we can climb to the side without any mechanism to stop us from sliding because it will just stay stable. Um, what else? There's also, it's also mounted onto the intakes through two plates that that are originally six mil and they're weight saved down and there's no skin left and so it just mounts onto the intake which is very securely mounted to the drill chassis. So can we hear about your software and how you implement things? Yeah so our load handling subsystem is for the most part automated with intake constantly running until the beam brake is triggered which will then initiate the spin up of the shooter which tr which goes into the shooter until the, the uh, driver will shoot. Uh, we use an Ardu cam up the front here to uh, get our April tags, which runs into a pie on the side. We, we get our odometry from the April tags as well, which allows us to translate into the height as well as angle of the robot that we need to point into in order to aim the speed. Okay, great boat all around, guys. Thank Good luck. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions.